Right here we go, shopping trip at Asda. Just to give you an idea of what it's like now with the coronavirus. It's up there, allow me to film in the shop. People think it's ridiculous to wear a mask, but it makes sense. Glasses, that's not working, they get fogged up with um, the masks. I'm going to take them off, I'll just have to chance that. So, the plan is use the gloved hand for the trolley, ungloved hand to pick the groceries, see how that works. So this is the social distancing, two meters apart waiting to get into Asda.
cross keeps coming loose. Try and tighten it with one hand. Try to use one hand for the trolley and one to handle the stuff that I'm buying. Sort of try and sort out your own strategy on this lot. Don't know if you can hear me on there. They're a bit better organized than when I was here a week ago. I've got a system of arrows on the floor. So, what direction are you going with your trolley? Which is something I actually thought about at home, which would be a good idea. And I see that I have implemented it. So things have changed a lot within a week. A lot. Or some people just ignore the arrows and just go the wrong way. There's nothing unusual there. Doesn't surprise me at all. People just don't take this thing seriously with this virus, to be honest. They don't realize just how bad it really is. really keep the distance either. It's like people just don't get it. Just sort of happily walk right past you. Don't worry about the distancing at all. Some people just don't care. All the stuff that's out of stock. Hand wash, all that sort of thing. Soap you can still get. Oh, paracetamol is back in stock. Mm -hmm. 
so you know people have been panic buying but things are slowly coming back to normal stock wise I think hopefully we'll get back to normal sometime soon Take a walk through this aisle. surface wipes all that wiped out so one way system here yeah, distancing arrow of pointing that way that's all all that wiped out yeah people still have to get used to this system in this shop But you know, just still uh, walk towards you, no know, worries, and just go for it. Yeah. Get some of these with one hand, that's going to be interesting. Lager back in stock again. It was temporarily out of stock. Because of course all the pubs are closed. Again, someone just walks straight past you. No worry about distancing there. It's almost impossible in a big shop as well. But at least the aisles are quite wide. Again, people don't realise it's a one-way system. Just walking around at random like I normally do. I don't get it. I should have this system of one way at all times anyway to reduce congestion in the shop if people stick to it. But again, another one that just ignores it. Because they're too bloody lazy to walk around. Pastor on the shelves again. Don't need any, we still got some at home. All the more expensive cans of beans are available. So, slowly on the stocks are coming back once the panic subsides a bit. It 
tomato sauce, only the more expensive one available. Pints. The cheap Asda brand being wiped out by the looks of it. alternative at this point. Bottle that size will keep us going for a while. people that don't understand the one-way system. Clearly marked on the floor, arrows. Lots of people just going in any direction through the aisles. It'll take a while before people will get the hang of it. Right, the scraby stocked up. Potatoes available in cans. So yeah, like I say, stocks all coming back. Panic has died down a bit now. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Nah, that seems to be in short supply as well. Always keep a few in the house anyway. It's always hard to find in the supermarket. Right, what do we need now? Yogurt. Tea bags. I sort of fend people off with a trolley. Just that they're not used to it, I guess. This is something that's new. We never had anything like this before. Nothing like this has ever happened in my lifetime. sure I've got everything. Sausages, cold meat, tea bags. Last items on my list for today. That's the shopping done for the week when I've got those. Uh, right, 
few more items to get. Yeah, not a lot of milk available. There's some the full fat milk, um, the green top ones, not so many. Alright, how's it going?
Can I get uh, cash back 40? Okay, thanks. Oh, I'll take my hat off to you guys. You're doing a good job, yeah. Oh, you know, good. amongst all this nonsense that's I going know. on, this can't be easy for you because yeah. you've got to face the public day in, day out. You're more at risk than anyone else. Well, yeah, NHS is even worse, but you know, you guys also you dealing with it all the time. So, good job. All right, see you again. It's the new way of shopping at us, don't know. Right, now I can take the mask off and I can breathe properly again. It's just one of these paper masks, but I guess it's better than nothing. Right, that will now stay on the keyring till next week's shop. Glove to be disposed of. Sanitize the hands. No system's foolproof, but it just minimizes your chance, your risk of getting the virus. That is basically the ASDA shopping experience. That's what it has come down to with coronavirus. Uh, so I thought I'll just do this video so that everyone can see what it's like, people that are stuck in the house, what to expect if you're going out to do your shopping. I've basically bought for at least a week's worth of stuff so that it will last us for a while so I don't have to come back. Hopefully all this will be over with sometime soon and I uh, hope you all stay safe and enjoyed um, the video. I know it's a bit long but I may do a bit of editing to cut it a bit shorter. But hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, like I say stay safe. Hopefully all this chaos will be over soon.